Chapter 1, The Assignment The room was filled with tension, like the air before a storm. Agent William Billy Johnson, at only 19 years old, sat straight-backed in his chair as Director Walters outlined his new mission. His heart pounded heavily against his ribcage, but he kept his face impassive and expressionless. Johnson, Director Walters began, looking intently into Billy's eyes. You've been chosen for an undercover operation of utmost importance to the FBI. Billy nodded, taking a deep breath as his heart rate climbed higher still. He knew this was not going to be easy, but he had always welcomed challenges. Director Walters continued, his tone serious and direct. You're familiar with the crime group known as the Serpents? Billy nodded again, feeling the tension in the room coil even tighter around him. Well, we have reason to believe they are involved in human trafficking, among other things. Billy's blood ran cold at those words, human trafficking was one of the most despicable crimes imaginable. He felt a rush of determination flood through him, he would do everything in his power to bring these criminals down. Director Walters continued, their leader, known only by her codename Viper, has been evading us for years. But we've recently discovered she runs an underground club called the Eden, which is frequented by high-ranking members of the Serpents. Billy listened intently, his mind racing with possibilities and strategies already forming in his head. Director Walters paused before continuing, you're going to infiltrate Eden as an exotic dancer, a girl known only as a rosebud dot. For the first time since entering the room, Billy felt his face flush red with shock and surprise. The idea of transforming into a woman was something he had never considered, but it seemed Director Walters had already thought everything through. He cleared his throat before speaking, I understand, sir. The tension in the room dissipated slightly as Director Walters handed over a folder containing all necessary information about Eden and the serpents. Billy stood up, shaking hands with the director. As he left the room, he couldn't help but feel both excited and terrified by what lay ahead of him. He had no idea how he would pull off this transformation, but he was determined to succeed, no matter the cost. Chapter 2 – The Transformation Begins The next few days were a whirlwind for Billy as he was rushed through a series of medical appointments and procedures. Director Walters had arranged everything, from hormone therapy to breast augmentation surgery. It all felt surreal, like he was watching someone else's life unfold before his eyes. As the hormones started taking effect, Billy could feel his body changing in subtle yet significant ways. His voice began to soften and raise in pitch, while his muscles became less defined and more fluid. He found himself growing increasingly anxious about what lay ahead of him but reminded himself that this transformation was crucial for the success of his mission. One afternoon, he sat down with a specialist who showed him various makeup techniques designed to enhance feminine features and hide masculine ones. Billy listened attentively as she explained how to contour his face, apply false eyelashes, and even draw in a natural-looking hairline. He was amazed at the level of detail involved in creating such an illusion, it made him realize just how much work went into maintaining these alter egos. Finally, after weeks of preparation, surgery, and recovery, Billy found himself standing before a mirror, staring at his new reflection. He had become a rosebud, the exotic dancer who would infiltrate Eden and bring down the serpents from within. His eyes were lined with black coal, enhancing their natural green color, his lips painted a deep red that contrasted sharply against pale skin. Long blonde hair cascaded around his shoulders, framing features now softer and more feminine than ever before. He looked nothing like Agent William Billy Johnson, but he was ready for this mission nonetheless. With a newfound sense of determination burning in his heart, Billy stepped away from the mirror, leaving Rosebud behind as he prepared himself mentally and emotionally for what lay ahead of him. As he did so, Director Walter's words echoed through his mind, you have been chosen for an undercover operation of utmost importance to the FBI. Billy knew that now more than ever before, he needed to prove himself worthy of this trust and responsibility. The transformation was only just beginning, but it would be nothing compared to what lay ahead of him once he stepped foot inside Eden's doors. Chapter 3, Entering Eden's Doors Billy, now transformed into Rosebud, felt his heart pounding in his chest as he approached the entrance of Eden. The club was shrouded in mystery, its exact location never made public, and only those who were part of the serpents or had connections to them knew how to find it. But through careful observation and surveillance, Billy had managed to uncover its whereabouts. 
As he stepped into the dark, smoke-filled room, his senses were immediately overwhelmed by the sights and sounds around him. The air was thick with the smell of sweat, alcohol, and perfume, while flashing lights illuminated half-naked bodies dancing seductively on stage or grinding against one another in dark corners. He felt a mixture of fear and excitement coursing through his veins as he made his way towards the backstage area where dancers prepared for their performances. He introduced himself to a burly man named Big Mike, who was responsible for handling new recruits. Despite being intimidated by his imposing figure, Billy kept calm and played the part of an aspiring exotic dancer eager to make a name for herself in Eden's underworld scene. Big Mike eyed him up and down, scrutinizing every detail of Rosebud's appearance from head to toe before finally giving a curt nod of approval. All right kid, he said gruffly, you got potential. With that, Big Mike handed over a locker key and directed Billy towards the dressing room where other dancers were getting ready for their respective shows. As soon as he entered the bustling room filled with girls applying makeup or adjusting costumes, Billy felt completely out of place. He had never been around so many women before, let alone in such intimate settings. But he forced himself to remain composed and focused on his mission, this was no time for distractions. His first performance went better than expected, Rosebud managed to hold her own against more experienced dancers while drawing the attention of some high-ranking members of the Serpents. With each passing night, she gained their trust and respect, earning herself a spot in their inner circle. Despite the danger looming around every corner, Billy found himself enjoying the thrill of living a double life, by day he was an FBI agent working tirelessly to bring down the serpents from within, by night he was Rosebud, the alluring exotic dancer who captivated her audience with every sensual move. As weeks turned into months, Billy became more immersed in his undercover identity as Rosebud, each performance pushing him closer towards discovering Viper's true identity and ultimately bringing down the serpents for good. But little did he know that the biggest challenge of all was yet to come. Chapter 4, The Dangers of Undercover Work As Billy continued his undercover work at Eden, he soon realized that every day brought new challenges and risks. He constantly had to be on guard, watching for potential threats or any indication that someone might suspect his true identity. One such incident occurred when one of the Serpent's members, a man named Snake, approached Rosebud after her performance one night. Snake was known for being particularly suspicious and paranoid, so Billy knew he had to tread carefully around him. So, Rosebud, Snake drawled, his eyes narrowed as he scrutinized Billy's every move. You've been here a while now, but I still don't know much about you. Billy felt his heart pound in his chest as he forced himself to keep calm and maintain the facade of Rosebud. He had anticipated such questions eventually coming up, so he was prepared with a well-rehearsed backstory that portrayed Rosebud as an independent woman looking for a fresh start after leaving behind a troubled past. Snake seemed satisfied by Billy's explanation, but he couldn't shake the feeling of unease that lingered in the air. He knew that any slip-up could put his entire mission, and potentially even his life, at risk. Another danger presented itself when Rosebud became increasingly popular among Eden's patrons. Her performances were drawing larger crowds each night, and as a result, she began attracting unwanted attention from some of the more aggressive clients. One night after her show, a particularly persistent man named Bruno approached Rosebud with a lecherous grin on his face. Hey, beautiful, he slurred drunkenly, grabbing at Billy's arm roughly. How about you and me head back to my place for some, private entertainment? Billy fought back the urge to recoil from Bruno's touch, he knew that any show of resistance or discomfort could arouse suspicion among those around them. Instead, he forced a coy smile onto his face and politely declined, making up an excuse about having plans later in the evening. As he managed to extricate himself from Bruno's grip, Billy couldn't help but feel a sense of dread wash over him. He knew that if even one person were to recognize him as Agent William Billy Johnson, his entire operation could come crashing down around him, putting not only his life at risk but also jeopardizing the FBI's efforts to take down the serpents once and for all. With each passing day, Billy grew more aware of the dangers surrounding him as he navigated the treacherous world of Eden. But despite the risks, he remained determined to see his mission through until the very end, no matter what challenges might lie ahead. Chapter 5, Uncovering Viper's Identity As Rosebud continued to perform at Eden and earn the trust of its high-ranking members, she was eventually invited to attend an exclusive party hosted by Viper herself. 
Billy knew this was his chance, if he could manage to infiltrate Viper's inner circle, there would be a good chance he could finally identify her true identity. The night of the party arrived quickly, and Billy found himself feeling a mixture of excitement and apprehension as he prepared for what lay ahead. He had managed to procure an invitation by impressing one of Viper's closest associates with his performance on stage, but now came the real test, getting close enough to Viper without arousing suspicion or blowing his cover. As Rosebud entered the lavish penthouse where the party was being held, Billy couldn't help but feel overwhelmed by the sheer opulence surrounding him. The room was filled with elegant furniture, priceless artwork adorning the walls, and an endless supply of champagne flowing freely from crystal flutes. He scanned the crowd carefully for any sign of Viper but found himself lost in a sea of unfamiliar faces. It wasn't until he noticed a hushed whisper among some of Eden's regulars that Billy realized Viper had yet to make an appearance, she was known for being fashionably late, after all. Just as he was about to give up hope and slip back into the shadows, Rosebud felt a light touch on her arm. She turned around to find herself face to face with none other than Viper herself. Rosebud, Viper purred, her eyes gleaming with interest as she took in Billy's transformed appearance. I've heard so much about you. Billy felt his heart pounding wildly against his ribcage, but managed to maintain his composure. He returned Viper's gaze steadily, trying not to betray the shock and excitement he was feeling at finally coming face to face with the serpent's elusive leader. As they exchanged pleasantries, Billy began to study Viper more closely, taking note of every detail from her long dark hair to her piercing green eyes. He couldn't help but feel a sense of dread as he realized that she bore an uncanny resemblance to himself before the transformation, but with a harder edge and an air of menace about her. Despite his growing unease, Billy knew he had to stay focused on his mission. He continued to engage Viper in conversation, carefully probing for any information that could help him identify her true identity. But each time he thought he was getting close, Viper would change the subject or expertly deflect his questions. As the night wore on and the party began winding down, Billy found himself feeling frustrated by his lack of progress in uncovering Viper's real name or background. But he knew that this was just one step in a long journey, and there would be more opportunities to come. With newfound determination burning within him, Billy resolved to continue working undercover as Rosebud until he could finally bring down the serpents from within. He had come too far now to give up, Viper's true identity was out there somewhere, waiting for him to discover it, and he wouldn't rest until he did just that. Chapter 6, Infiltrating the Inner Circle With his encounter with Viper at her party still fresh in his mind, Billy redoubled his efforts to infiltrate Eden's inner circle and gain access to information that would lead him closer to unmasking the serpents. He knew this meant taking greater risks and pushing himself further than ever before, but he was determined to see the mission through until its successful completion. The following weeks saw Rosebud performing more daring routines, befriending key members of the Serpent's hierarchy, and attending exclusive events hosted by Viper herself. As Billy became increasingly involved in their world, he found himself struggling to keep his emotions in check, the lines between his undercover persona and true self were beginning to blur as Rosebud grew closer to becoming a real person within Eden's corrupt society. Despite these challenges, Billy managed to maintain his focus on the mission at hand. He used every opportunity he could find to gather intelligence about the Serpent's activities, from their smuggling operations to money laundering schemes. With each new piece of information uncovered, he felt one step closer to bringing them down once and for all. As his involvement with Eden deepened, however, so too did the risks associated with his undercover work. One particular incident nearly resulted in Billy's cover being blown when Viper invited Rosebud on a private yacht trip, an offer that she couldn't refuse without raising suspicion among her colleagues. The trip was fraught with tension as Billy navigated the treacherous waters of maintaining his cover while simultaneously trying to gather information about the serpent's activities. He found himself constantly on edge, watching for any signs that Viper or her associates might be onto him. Thankfully, Rosebud managed to navigate the situation without arousing suspicion and returned to Eden with valuable intelligence in hand. But as Billy reflected on his close call during the yacht trip, he knew that there would only be so many such opportunities before his luck ran out. With renewed urgency driving him forward, Billy doubled down on his efforts to uncover Viper's true identity. He began studying her behavior more closely, looking for any clues or patterns that might help him identify her weaknesses or vulnerabilities. 
and eventually, after weeks of careful observation and analysis, he finally made a breakthrough, he discovered that Viper had a secret obsession with rare art pieces, something which could potentially be used against her in the future. Billy knew that this discovery was just one piece of the puzzle, there were still countless other details to uncover before he could bring the serpents down for good. But as he continued his undercover work at Eden, he felt a growing sense of determination burning within him, with each passing day, he was getting closer and closer to achieving his ultimate goal, justice for those harmed by the serpent's criminal activities. Chapter 7, A Game of Cat and Mouse As Rosebud continued her undercover work at Eden, she found herself caught in a dangerous game of cat and mouse with Viper and her associates. Every move Billy made had to be calculated and carefully planned out as even the slightest misstep could compromise his cover and put an end to the entire operation. One such instance occurred when one of the serpent's members named Cobra approached Rosebud after a performance one night. His gaze was intense, scrutinizing every detail about her, from her makeup to the way she carried herself on stage. Billy felt his heart pounding wildly against his ribcage as he tried desperately not to give away any signs of nervousness or fear. So, Rosebud, Cobra drawled, his eyes narrowing slightly as he studied Billy's face. I hear you've been spending quite a bit of time with Viper lately. Billy felt a chill run down his spine at the mention of Viper's name, it seemed that word had already gotten around about their interactions, which meant he needed to tread even more carefully than before. Yes, he replied casually, forcing himself to maintain an air of nonchalance despite the fear gnawing away at him from within. She has been quite generous with her time. Cobra seemed satisfied by Billy's response but continued to watch him closely for any signs that might indicate something more sinister was going on beneath Rosebud's alluring exterior. As he excused himself, leaving Billy alone once again, Billy couldn't help but feel a wave of relief wash over him, but this was quickly replaced by the daunting realization that each encounter like this brought him one step closer to potentially getting exposed. In another instance, Viper herself approached Rosebud during an after-party at Eden's private lounge area. She was flanked by two heavily armed bodyguards who eyed Billy with suspicion and distrust. Viper's eyes glinted with a mixture of curiosity and amusement as she addressed him directly, I hear you have quite the reputation around here, Rosebud. Billy felt his heart pound in his chest once again, he knew that any mistake or slip-up now could mean game over for not only himself but also Director Walter's entire operation. He forced a coy smile onto his face and responded playfully, is that so? I suppose it comes with the territory of being one of Eden's most sought-after performers. Viper chuckled darkly at Billy's response before turning to walk away, leaving him alone once again amidst a sea of uncertainty. As he watched her retreating figure disappear into the shadows, Billy couldn't help but feel a mix of relief and dread wash over him, she had been close, too close for comfort. But at least for now, his cover remained intact. With each passing day spent undercover as Rosebud, Billy found himself becoming more entrenched in the world of Eden and its dangerous inhabitants. But despite these risks, he knew that there was no turning back, not until the serpents were brought to justice for their crimes against humanity did they deserve. Chapter 8, The Final Showdown As Billy continued his undercover work as Rosebud, he found himself growing closer and closer to unmasking Viper's true identity. Each day brought new challenges, risks, and revelations, but also a sense of impending doom that he couldn't shake off no matter how hard he tried. One night after performing on stage, Billy felt the intensity in Rosebud's eyes as she caught Viper watching from afar, their gaze locked for what seemed like an eternity before Viper turned away abruptly without warning or explanation. It was then that Billy knew, this wasn't just another day at Eden, it was the beginning of something far greater, the final showdown between him and Viper herself. In preparation for what would be a high-stakes game of cat and mouse with potentially life-changing consequences looming on the horizon, Billy knew that every move must count if he hoped to succeed where others had failed before, bringing down the serpents once and for all. But as Rosebud readied herself for the task at hand while also preparing for what lay ahead, a thrilling yet dangerous game of cat and mouse with potentially life-changing consequences looming on the horizon, but Billy knew that every move must count if he hoped to succeed, where others had failed before bringing down the serpents once and for all. But as Rosebud readied herself for what lay ahead, a thrilling game of cat and forth cat and forth cat and 10th cat, and for the first step is to bring down the serpents bring down the challenge of bringing down the challenges that brings down a challenge. Challenge your task in bringing down cat and the cat and a challenge. In response to the task of challenging game with Viperfixes ahead, Billy's he prepared herself for what lay ahead. 
but as she readied himself for the final showdown between them, he knew that every move must count if he hoped to succeed where others had failed before, and finally bring down the serpents once and for all. The night of the final showdown arrived quickly, and Billy found himself standing face to face with Viper on stage at Eden's grandest event yet. The crowd was electric with anticipation as they watched their favorite performer, Rosebud, take center stage alongside her elusive boss, Viper. As the music began to play and the lights dimmed low, Billy felt a mix of nerves and determination surge through him. This was it, his moment to finally unmask Viper and expose the serpents for their heinous crimes. He had come too far now to let anything stand in his way. Viper eyed Rosebud from across the stage, a smirk playing at the corners of her lips as she began to dance seductively towards him. Billy could sense that something was different about this performance, there was an air of danger surrounding Viper that hadn't been present before. It seemed she knew what he planned to do, but whether or not she would let it happen remained uncertain. As they danced together, their movements becoming increasingly provocative and aggressive, Billy searched for any weaknesses he could exploit. But Viper was a formidable opponent, every time he thought he had her cornered, she slipped away with ease. Finally, as the music reached its crescendo, Billy made his move. He grabbed hold of Viper's arm and twisted it behind her back, using his leverage to force her onto her knees before him. The crowd gasped in shock at the sudden turn of events, but Billy paid them no mind, he had one goal in sight, unmasking Viper once and for all. With a swift yank, he tore off her wig revealing not only her true identity but also a startling revelation, Viper was none other than director Walter's daughter, Sarah. The room erupted into chaos as this bombshell news sunk in, no one could have predicted such a twist. Billy found himself stunned by the revelation but quickly regained his composure. Sarah, he said sternly, looking down at her with disbelief and disappointment, I don't know why you did this, but it ends now. With those words spoken, Billy signaled for his team to move in and apprehend Sarah along with the rest of the serpents. As they were led away in cuffs, Eden fell into disarray around them, their empire crumbling before their very eyes. In the aftermath of it all, as he watched from afar while director Walters confronted his daughter about her betrayal and involvement with the serpents, Billy couldn't help but feel a mix of emotions wash over him. He had succeeded in bringing down one of the most notorious criminal organizations in history, but at what cost? Despite these thoughts weighing heavily on his mind, he knew that justice had been served. The serpents were finally behind bars, and their victims could begin to heal from the trauma they'd endured. And while Billy's journey as Rosebud may have come to an end, his fight for truth and justice would continue long after Eden faded into memory.